Yeah, he's going to be day-to-day right now. Day-to-day listed as day-to-day. You're listening to Day-to-Day on X106. And we are back now on Day-to-Day. Andrew Botwinick alongside Jenny James. So let's jump right into our way-too-early Super Bowl picks, who we got in the AFC and the NFC, and who will take the crown at the end of the next season. Jenny, you go ahead and start. Um, I would like to see the Chiefs making it all the way and I could see either the Saints being really strong again next year and probably the Rams. Those would be like the top two that I could see making it back there. Do you think the Patriots stay as a top contender in the AFC? Because the way you have it branched out right now is kind of the same four or same three at least. Yeah, Yeah, I do. Just because I really do feel like those those four teams are the best teams in the NFL. I really Mm -hmm. do think that. And I think that like we saw that in those playoff games. I mean, they came down to the like the literally last wire there. I mean, the Saints went to overtime, but oh yeah, well, Chiefs did too. But like it literally came to the like last second of who was going to win those games and who was going to go to the Super Bowl. So I think we truly saw the four best teams in the NFL, and I could see that happening again next year. Yeah, I, I definitely think there was, especially this year. There's a gap in the AFC and the NFC mm-hmm. between the top two teams and everybody else. I know the Chargers were were really good throughout the regular season, but mm-hmm. they did not look strong at all against the Patriots. They kind of got dismantled. Right. I think I wholeheartedly believe that Steve Spagnolo will get the Chiefs defense back in line. I think Patrick Mahomes, he's not going to have as great a season as he had this year. I he's not. I still think that he's going to throw 35 almost 40 touchdowns. He's still going to have over 4000 yards. He's going to be very reliable. Um, the Chiefs, I have them going all the way to the Super Bowl. I have them playing against the Chicago Bears, though. Oh, okay. I think Chicago. It up a little bit. I think Chicago is going to be able to get it done. And the Chiefs do play um, Chicago in Chicago some point this year. They haven't released uh, schedules yet, but they will play at some point. And I think that that's going to be a really great game to watch. Khalil Mack going mm-hmm. up against anybody. Yeah, anybody is fun to see him play up against, and. Um, I want to say the Chiefs fan in me says to pick the Chiefs, but I will. I will be. I'll, let's just say I'll be happy enough if they make it to the yeah. Super Bowl. Yeah. I think in this situation, Andy Reid versus his his offensive coordinator of last year, Matt Nagy, mm-hmm. now coaching the Bears, that would be a homecoming story yeah. almost. Yeah, it'd be really entertaining to watch. Um, in that situation, I'd probably pick Patrick yeah. Mahomes and the Chiefs, though. Yeah. I'm really hoping this is very similar to what we saw uh, in Kansas City with the Royals, where, you know, they got so close that first year and then, then didn't win, but then they made it back the next year and did. So I'm really hoping that that's going to just kind of transfer over to the Chiefs. Yeah. Um, I just think they had so much momentum this year that it's going to carry into next year. And if, like you said, if the defense can really step it up next year, I think they are going to be a very dangerous team. Yeah, and even if even if they play in the middle of the pack, I think that the Chiefs defense would would skyrocket in terms of their value in the NFL. Right. right. A lot of the games, I think there was something that was like out of the losses the Chiefs had this year, they were all within they were all within a touchdown for sure. Yeah. But it was like a combined like six or seven points that they had lost games by because the, the yeah. Rams game was like two or three points. The Patriots game was by a field goal at the last second, yeah. and then. The one the one point loss to the Chargers because he went for two. Right. It's like six seven points right there. Yeah. So one extra touchdown to the guy that threw fifty. Yeah. You can't you can't root against him. Right. Exactly. But we're gonna take a look now standings by standings, um, recap how everybody went and how Jenny and I believe they are going to go next season. Starting with the AFC South, the Texans won that division at eleven and five. Colts were right behind, grabbing a wild card spot, uh, ten and six. Or Titans just missed the wild card spot playing in that Week 17 matchup against the Colts, going nine and seven, and then Jaguars rounding out the AFC South five and eleven. Who you got in what order? Um, just you're just saying just for the South. Just for the South, yeah. right now, yeah. So I really like the Colts. I know they started becoming a lot stronger towards the end of the season, so I think that momentum could go into next season uh, for them. So I would like to see the Colts uh, win the South. And then I think uh, the Texans are going to be obviously up there in competition for that with them. So I'd like to see Colts, Texans, and then Titans and Jaguars. So just Colts, Colts, Texans flip? Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I completely agree. I, I'm right there with you. Colts, Titan, or Colts, Texans, Titans, Jaguars. Next up, we will go to the AFC West. So, AFC West shaped out with the 12 and 4 Chiefs and Chargers. Chiefs winning the division, and then the Broncos 6 and 10, Raiders at 4 and 12. So, the Chargers grab that wild card spot. How do you think it's going to round out next year? I think it's going to be very similar. I think the Chiefs will win the West again. I think the Chargers Chargers will be right behind. Um, And then I think it'll go Broncos and Raiders. I just think the Raiders are struggling really bad right now. So, um, yeah, I can see it being the same as this year. Yeah, Raiders struggling on and off the field. They (laughs) might not even have a spot to play at next year for sure. Um, I kind of agree. I think the Chiefs will probably win the division again. Um, I would like to see, though, I think the Broncos will make a couple of offseason moves. I think the Broncos might try and slip and flip with the Chargers. So I'd go Chiefs, Broncos, Chargers, Raiders. Raiders probably winning like two or three games. I, yeah, I don't it's realistically gonna be see very them. Small. <laughs> I see them probably getting a game or two over the Broncos. Um, other than that, I don't see them winning another divisional game. I don't. Yeah, I agree. Especially with how strong the Chiefs and the Chargers right. were. I don't see that happening. Right. And if the Broncos, like you said, make some improvements, I think they, I mean, they're very capable of being dangerous, too. Yeah, I think quarterback is one of the bigger yeah. needs for them this yeah. offseason. I think that they know that because I know they've they've scouted Drew Locke heavily out of Mizzou. So we'll see what happens there. AFC East, and in the very tight race, uh, Patriots 11-5, and five, Dolphins at 7-9, and nine, Bills 6-10, and 10, the Jets at 4-12. and 12. Realistically, I, I think it's probably going to be the same. The Bills will probably flip with the Dolphins. Um I could honestly see the Jets as well. I could see it going Patriots, Bills, Jets, Dolphins, Dolphins at the end. What do you think on this one? I really don't want to see the Patriots win another division. (laughs) Um, But I think if Brady is still there, which he's saying he will be, um, then, yeah, I think the Patriots will win the East. And then, yeah, I think the Bills are another team that's, you know, up and coming. Um, So I think I could see them next. And then Dolphins – kind of struggling there and the Jets obviously struggling but if they pick up some new people in the draft then we'll see but yeah I definitely think the Patriots are going to have that one and then the Bills right behind yeah assuming assuming Brady stays assuming Brady <laughs> stays he says he will but yeah if, if he doesn't say that division is up for grabs right yeah because I think if if Brady calls it a day I think Belichick calls it a day yeah Gronkowski calls it a day yeah. um along with probably half the roster and literally like Who's their backup? I couldn't tell you who their backup is. I think it was Brian Hoyer, and yeah. I only I only know we that we looked it up last time. Yeah, yeah I only but know that like... because we had to look it up because Brian Hoyer was apparently um, their scout for Mahomes, <laughs> and uh, it's just interesting to see the uh, older yeah. older Brian Hoyer trying to replicate hmm. some of the throws that Patrick Mahomes is able to make. I'd like to see that. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. I haven't haven't seen any of the footage from it, but I would imagine it's hmm. it's pretty funny. Yeah. So now the AFC North, the last division in the AFC. This one's the most interesting after the Browns made their acquisition of Kareem Hunt. You still got the Steelers. You still got the Ravens. The way it shaped out this year was Ravens ten and six, Steelers nine six and one. The Browns at seven, eight, and one, and then the Bengals rounding out at six and ten. So, what are we thinking on this one? I really see the Browns moving up uh, next season. I just think, well, I mean, obviously now with Kareem Hunt, like they have a potential to be very dangerous, and um, so I see them moving up. I see the Ravens still being up there at the top, very, very strong. Um, I see the Steelers. They, I just feel like they're kind of in that groove where they're kind of struggling but like at the same time like you know you don't really know what to expect from mm-hmm. them like you've seen what they've done in the past and you're like okay you can't take them lightly but they are struggling a little bit um but i definitely see the browns moving up yeah i'm and then Bengals at the bottom i assume. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm kind of i'm kind of torn see my gut says browns win the division and it it pains me to say that because i get to experience the browns winning the division um, <laughs> but I think the Browns are going to win the division next year. I think that they have the opportunity to. Yeah, they they have some some weapons. Yeah, that is for sure. You got Miles Garrett, Nick Chubb, Baker Mayfield, Kareem Hunt now, Jarvis Landry. You've got you've got plenty of weapons, plenty of youth, new head coach. So yeah, things are on the up and up for Cleveland, and we'll see how they shape out. I I do believe though. 
Browns at number one in the division. I think as long as the Ravens don't lose too many pieces on defense, mm-hmm. they'll stay at number two in that division. Steelers will probably slip to three, depending on what happens with Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown. Yeah. Specifically for that reason. Right, yeah. Because if they both stay and they both play, the Steelers could win the division. Right. But and I think that's a huge contributor to why they weren't as successful this season. Yeah, I, I don't think with the way that this year shaped out that Le'Veon Bell will be staying. Yeah. Um, I could see the Steelers also trying to shop Antonio Brown as well. And then, yeah, for me too, the Bengals rounding out the bottom of the division. There's not a whole lot going on with them. They're, no. they're still having some confusion <laughs> as to who their quarterback is going to be next yeah. year even. So so now we will – well, first, actually, let's. who are the wild cards in the AFC if it, if it ended? Who would you think would be the wild cards? Um, let's see. I think, I think the Chargers have a good opportunity. Just if they don't, you know, go off next season. Um, I like the Chargers and then I like the Colts if they don't win the division. Mm-hmm. See, I'm, I'm sitting between, I think the second place team in the AFC South. So if the Colts win, it'll be the Texans. If the Texans yeah, win, it, yeah. it'll be the Colts. I think that that's a team that would be very strong, um, and then I also think that whatever team comes in second in the AFC North. So if the Browns do win it, the Browns make the playoffs mm-hmm. and they're in. And then whatever team's in second, the Ravens or the Steelers, I think mm-hmm. that team will also make the playoffs. Um, or if it's the Ravens that win it again, Steelers or the Browns, yeah. whichever, whichever team in that division yeah. doesn't win it. I realistically, the Browns as a, as a wild card wouldn't surprise me. Right. The Browns winning the division possibly a little more we'll we'll see we'll see how they round out the rest of that play yeah so now we'll move on to the nfc we'll start with the nfc east cowboys won that division at 10 to 6 or at at 10 and 6 record um eagles got a wild card spot at 9 and 7 redskins 7 and 9 and then the giants 5 and 11 so they they had a little bit of some bumps going into that season the, the NFC East, for the majority of the season, was the joke of the NFL. It was Every team was up for grabs, even as late as, like, I think it was week 13. I think it was yeah. still any, anybody's chance. Right. But uh, how do you think this division will shape up? Um, I think it's honestly going to be kind of what we saw this season. Um, I think it's going to come down between the Cowboys and the Eagles. Um, both of those teams kind of don't really know what you're going to get from them every single year. You know, the yeah. Eagles kind of, they had their really good year, and then this past season wasn't what they were expecting or hoping for, I don't think. Um, and the Cowboys kind of took advantage of that. Um, so I could see, prob- I'm going to probably go with the Cowboys again, winning the East, and then the Eagles, Redskins, Giants. Okay. See, I'm, I'm torn on this one, too. I don't, I don't really like... The way that the Cowboys have played, I think their offense is very Zeke Elliott mm-hmm. favored. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If it works, it works. Yeah, I do like that they got Amari Cooper though; it helps them out a little bit more. Um, and for that, per- for that reason alone, I I think the Cowboys will maintain uh, the division lead. Mm-hmm. But I will say that the Eagles, with a full healthy Carson Wentz. Do not get second in the division. I think that the Redskins getting Darius Geis back from that ACL he suffered in uh, training camp this, this last season, I think he'll come back. And assuming the Redskins get a quarterback, assuming Alex Smith either comes back and plays, which I don't think is going to happen, yeah, um, or they draft a quarterback or trade for a quarterback, regardless, as long as they have someone other than Mark Sanchez at quarterback, I think that because they did try him out, I think that as long as they will have anybody other than him, they they will get second in this division with Geis and Peterson at running back. I I think that's kind of a hard duo to kind of get around. Yeah. But Eagles at three, Giants still at uh, last in the division. But assuming if the Giants don't get Haskins, if the Giants get Haskins, I could see them as high as number two. I I don't see anybody taking the division from the Cowboys Mm -hmm. this season. But another season or two down the line, you never know. Mm -hmm. NFC West now. The Rams thirteen and three this season. Seahawks ten and six, uh, grabbing the second wild card spot. Niners four and twelve. Cardinals three and thirteen. This could be a different division next season with yeah. with uh, Garoppolo coming back and Rosen coming from his rookie campaign. Mm-hmm. Uh, Seahawks still the Seahawks and the Rams still the Rams. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll be really interesting to see what happens. Um, obviously, with Arizona getting the first pick, like that'll be interesting to see what plays out with that. But um, 
I think it's going to be a battle between the Rams, Seahawks, and the 49ers because the Seahawks is that team. I think they're very similar to the Steelers. Like, you know what they have, like, done, and they have so much potential. And obviously, like, they have those coaches that have been there, and you know that they have the experience when it comes down to that playoff time. So that's what makes me scared of those teams Mm -hmm. when we play them because it's like, okay, like, yeah, they have a lot of experience with this. Um but I think I'm going to go with the Rams winning the division again just because coming off of this Super Bowl high, I just feel like that's going to carry into next season. Yeah. And then, so after the Rams, is it stay the same? or? Yeah, I would say Seahawks, 49ers, and then Cardinals. Also think, depending what happens with Arizona cause, and yeah. 49ers because it's hard to tell. I think if Garoppolo stays healthy and next season he's back fully, I still see the Rams winning the division, but I see this, the Niners grabbing that second spot in the division mm-hmm. and flip with the Seahawks because yeah. without Garoppolo, they were they were terrible right. to watch. Four and twelve on the season. Yeah, um, I think with Garoppolo it gives them a little bit more. They've got a little bit of extra extra players on the team. They they're in the rumors the front liner to get Antonio Brown from mm-hmm. the Steelers. So if that goes through, that's a whole new team. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be a very competitive division. I, I think so. As long as everybody stays healthy, I think yeah. that it's not going to be as top heavy as it was this right. season with two teams over ten wins yeah, and the other yeah. two at seven combined. Right. Yeah. But uh, Rams, Niners, Seahawks, Cardinals for where, for where I'm sitting. So and then the NFC North, uh, Bears won that one last season, twelve and four. Vikings eight seven and one. Packers six nine and one. And then the Lions rounding out at six and ten. Who we got on this one? Uh, definitely the Bears, just because, like you've mentioned, a uh, new coach, a uh, lot of potential there. They are on the up and up, like you've mentioned. So I do think that they're going to win that again. And then um, I'll go Vikings, Packers, and Lions. So you think it's going to stay the same? Mm-hmm. Depending on what moves the Packers make, I do think they'll make a couple defensive uh, moves. So I think it'll go Bears, Packers, Vikings Lions Mm -hmm. and I'm already going to preface this by saying the Packers are probably going to get a wild card spot Mm -hmm. but NFC South Saints Falcons Panthers Buccaneers two teams seven and nine Falcons Panthers Saints ran away with it very early in 13 and three how does this division round up assuming let's let's just assume since we did with Brady that he stays so we'll assume uh Drew Brees stays as well um yeah if Drew Brees does stay um I'm going to have to say Saints will win the South again. Uh, But the Falcons and Panthers, I think it's going to be very competitive between them, uh, trying to kind of catch up to the Saints just because they are very similar. And um, both have that, like, opportunity to have success, but Mm -hmm. they've just kind of been in that struggle area. But, yeah, I see the Saints taking it again. Okay. I am also going to agree Saints will take this one, but I will say – See, this is this is where it gets tough. Yeah, because I think as long as Cam Newton stays healthy, Panthers take the two spot in that division, and I actually have the Buccaneers at three, Falcons at four because they just hired Bob Sutton off the Chiefs oh, as their senior assistant <laughs> to their defensive coordinator. So I, I think the that, Falcons did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That that defense is gonna is That's gonna honest. decline just like the Chiefs did. No, I'm joking, but <laughs> we'll we'll see. Um, I actually do think that the Falcons will go through a little bit of a slump this season. Yeah. Matt Ryan getting older, Julio getting older, yeah. Calvin Ridley sure. resurgence, but we'll see if that defense stays yeah. healthy. So, and we'll wrap it up. Uh, wild card picks for the NFC. Who you got? Um, I really like I like the West Division. So I would like to see either the 49ers or the Seahawks grab a wild card, and then. Um, looking at the North, I'm probably going to have to say either the Vikings or the Packers. Yeah, the North North is stacked this yeah. season. I, I already said that I think the Packers will probably grab a wild card spot, and I would say the Vikings are probably going to end out a game away from getting a wild card spot. But as long as the Redskins get a quarterback, they'll get the other wild card spot, in my opinion. Um, if they don't, it'll go to someone in the NFC West, just like you said, yeah. whether it be the Seahawks or the Niners depending on if Garoppolo's healthy, Russell Wilson mm-hmm. continues to play at the at the ability we've seen him play at. So those are our picks on our way-too-early NFL picks. Uh, this has been Day to Day. I'm Andrew Botwinick alongside Jenny James.